Okay, here we have a screen recording on how to use Google Maps in some ways. I'm going to start by putting in a street address in Google Maps. Then you go to uh, maps.google.com and it will come up with a map of the US and a few other little details. To search for an address, you put it into this search bar here. I'm going to put 4th Street Dunedin, New Zealand. And click search maps. Here it has loaded up the location with the pop-up speech bubble pointing to the location, 4th Street, and I know that this is Dunedin. Right, uh, the next step is to view this map in um, satellite or hybrid view. Over the right hand side of the map there is satellite view. We click that and there we're looking at the address with a satellite image and hybrid view is the satellite image with the street address over the top. Over the left hand side of the map we've got the controls that um, zoom into the map or zoom out of the map. Let's zoom right in. It's the fun thing. Google Maps is always updating its images and sometimes you'll find that uh, the image detail has improved considerably from the last time you looked as well as the street detail. So I'm zooming right in. I think this might be the last level and no, there's no image available at that level but the one before did. Okay. If I see the hand appearing as I mouse over the map there, if I click and drag, it drags the map around. Now I can click that X to get rid of the speech bubble. Okay, and you might know that this is Otago Polytechnic, the campus. Right, now let's say that that's the view I would like to display, and I ch click hybrid again, and it looks like I've lost hybrid view at that level of zoom, so I'll come out again, and now it's come back to me. Okay, so I've got the streets listed here. Now just up here is a link to this page. If I was to right click that and copy link location, it might say something different in the right click if you're using a different browser, but it's essentially it's the same thing. You right click that link location and copy it and go and paste that in an email or in a word processing document or whatever place you want to do it. And if people click that link, uh, they will come to this map in exactly the same view, hybrid and at the same level of zoom. Okay, there's another feature that's worth looking at, and that's get directions. It's up here underneath the search. If I click get directions, and then now it will ask me from which address to the one I've previously put in. So let's go from, say, Somerville Street. Um, well, that one there will do. Somerville Street in Dunedin, or Shale Hill is, a, is an area of um, Dunedin. Actually, I didn't know Shale Hill was, um, was a yeah, location, but we'll go with that. And uh, get directions. I'll click that little box there, get directions. And what it's doing now is it's down the left has given me text directions. Head southwards on Somerville Street to every street. Turn right at Main, uh, Marne Street. Turn left, stay on Marne Street etc. And you'll see that the map has even drawn you a blue, blue line. And you can click to change that route. So let's say, uh, where do I want to change it? Well, it looks like it's pretty good as a matter of fact. It's the route I would go, but if we click and drag, let's see what happened. There you go. See, I'm clicking and dragging and it's taking the route a little bit off course. So if you want to avoid traffic or something like that, you can do that. Okay. So that's how you get directions, and you can copy paste those directions, or you can take the link to this page, whatever you'd like to do with that after that. So that's a pretty cool little feature about Google Maps, uh, lots more to look at. Um, next we'll be looking at the use of Community Walk, which enables you to put your own little uh, markers of locations and your own street directions in there manually. And then we'll look at another service called uh, Wikimapia, which enables you to draw a box over a location and um, add a lot of information about that location.